What's going on guys? Ttorx6 here, back for another GoBots review actually, and today we're going to actually take a look at uh, Puzzler and all of its components. So let's actually do these one by one, we'll get them to robot mode, and then uh, we'll finally take them to Puzzler. So we'll start with Rube here, and he's the one that to me just doesn't feel like he fits the set. He is quite clearly a Mercedes-Benz, down to even being able to see the logo on the front there. Um, and I know Mercedes-Benz makes some performance cars, but I'm not too familiar with them. The only thing is, your aesthetics of everyone else is a sports car. Um, even, you know, the furthest departure is probably a Toyota Celica, and questionably that's that's still can be sporty. But then you got like your Corvette, and your Porsche, and your Lamborghini. Like, I don't understand why this guy wasn't maybe like a Ferrari or something, uh, to keep the like sleep, sleek car look. But whatever, he's a Mercedes-Benz. Um, his name is Rube. If I haven't already said that, every one of these guys kind of has something to do with uh, something related to puzzles. Um, there's two I don't quite understand. If you if you do, leave it in the comments. But Rube, I assume, is you know either drawn to like a, a Rube Goldberg machine, which is one of those set one thing off that sets the next, and all the way until the end result to make like toast or something. Um, either that or Rubik's Cube, so I'm not really sure what they're going for. Anyway, transforming this guy, pretty simplistic. He's a GoBot after all. We're going to pull his feet out here, and then kind of carefully, because we don't want to mess with his glorious rubber tires, pull them back, which will let you move the feet out like this. Um, pull the arms out, which is pretty much all the articulation you're getting is in the arms, and pop the head up. Now, I've seen some pictures that stop here. Uh, they do have a waist rotation um, to make the front of the car his feet, which does give him some big feet, but it does look better than them hanging off the back. So a little close-up of the face if we can. Let's go, camera. Nothing terribly interesting. Articulation is simply in the arms. Uh, that's what it's going to be for every one of them, so we're not going to deal with that too much. So while we're on the subject, We'll get to uh, Zigzag. This is one of the ones that I'm not really sure uh, how he got his name and how it relates to puzzles. The reason I'm bringing him up is because he transforms exactly the same as Rube. Uh, if I didn't show the rubber tires, rolls like a freaking champ. Uh, yeah, can't complain about rubber tires, except that in their old age, if they're stored away somewhere not good, they're uh, pretty much toast. So we'll take that, we'll extend this on out. Uh, unfortunately, my Tic Tac is a little bit more loose, so he does tend to collapse a little. Or, did I say Tic Tac? I meant uh, zigzag. We'll get to Tic Tac later. Take these feet, flop them out, bring the waist around, bring the arms out here, loosey goosey, and bring the head up. Another look at the head. Again, pretty much very similar to that, not much different. But there is uh, Zigzag and Rube. So the next two we're going to talk about is Crossword and Pocket. Crossword because he's a crossword puzzle. Pocket because I have no idea. As you can see, my pocket is in a little bit bad shape. I mean, he's got some loose parts. I actually have a better pocket somewhere. I just can't remember where I put him. I have a feeling he's in storage, which stinks because he's missing a, light, a headlight here. The head is pretty trashed and the... Uh, the fists just kind of pop out. Now before we go any further, I want to point out that uh, these guys also came out the same year as uh, Devastator. Uh, obviously Devastator had a release prior to 85 uh, as part of a different line, uh, Diaclone I believe. But uh, where Transformers is concerned, uh, these guys are the same year, 85. Uh, so honestly, I feel like these guys are a step up above uh, the similar size Transformers, especially when you consider uh, them being a combiner and you consider the Scramble City guys. Anyway, Crossword and Pocket, we're doing them together because once again they have the same transformation. You pull this on out, you carefully, carefully split the legs there. It doesn't really move too far. Um, one of these legs is definitely easier to move on mine than the other. As you can see, Let's see if we can split it all the way. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, take these arms, swing them out again. All your articulations right there, and flip out the head. And there we go. There is Pocket with his 
fist popping out there. And crossword, like I said, exactly the same thing here. Split it apart. Split the car apart. Uh, get up here and try not to put too much pressure on the wheel as you slide this piece out, which is a little more stubborn on him. Here we go. And flip his head out. And uh, as you can see, his head is a little worse for the wear too, but it's not so bad. To try to get this to stay. There we go. There is crossword. So the last two are kind of unique. Uh, this is Tic Tac and this is Jigsaw. Uh, Jigsaw is very hard to find actually with all of his headlight, uh, his light bar intact because uh, this is part of the combiner mechanism. I was happy to have this one until I noticed his face is missing. Uh, the glue just gave out there. I know I have one of these guys in storage so uh, you'll have to take his, his face his look with a grain of salt. Uh, I promise he doesn't look like Jigsaw from the Saw movies. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was really disappointed when I picked that up and noticed it. Anyway, uh, Tic Tac and Jigsaw are a little bit more involved than the other guys. So, uh, with Tic Tac here, we're gonna pull the legs back a little and get it about halfway. And then you're gonna end up kind of rotating it down and rotating the leg around uh, at the same time so it's moving on that that little mechanism in there once you're in there we're gonna take these little silver clip pieces out drop the front of the car down and then pull out the arms here just like you do standard GoBots and then bring that back up and I do believe he's the only GoBot who actually has a like he's not really have an elbow, but I think he's the only one who actually has anything more than a straight arm. So, uh, yeah. And as you can see, because of how he transforms and age and stuff, he does like to do the flops, revealing his little secrets for later on. So that's Tic Tac. Jigsaw here. Uh, rotate this on down. Again, very much like a standard GoBot. Take this, bring that down. Now these slide up, and he has these giant arms here, just like this. And if he had his face, uh, it would be there. And he's done. So it's a little bit of a shame that I can't find the face, and unfortunately, since I am living out of some boxes here, uh, I don't really have access to the, the parts version of this guy in storage, which it looks like he might need more than just his face to really be in good condition. But really, you know, the robot modes here are they're interesting, but the real glory of this thing is the combined mode. Uh, I guess what I said earlier about Scramble City not being as good as these, um, these guys have most certainly suffered a lot uh, in their time. So I suppose Scramble City is better because they all tend to still function properly, uh, whereas these guys uh, with their die cast and you know, age just isn't working quite like they used to but yep take a bell jigsaw so obviously if you're buying this set you're really probably looking to buy it for the combined mode so let's get it there uh, we're gonna start with the bottom and take it to the top so you take Rube and you put him like that and you pop his head up like so and you take zigzag here and do exactly the same thing uh, officially, I can't remember which side goes on what. I feel like it's like this, but it doesn't matter. They connect exactly the same way. So the next part is Jigsaw here, and we're going to start by pulling out his arms just like robot mode. Uh, just pull them forward like this in here, and then just let them dangle. There's not much to do with it. Uh, take these, fold them out, and then part of the reason this guy's so floppy is because this joint has to go and then it has to go sideways like this. And uh, you, I guess you can move the arms back wherever kind of makes you most happy. But it's pretty much just like that. And then you're just going to take Rube and uh, Zigzag here and just plug them in right at the bottom like so. 
Uh, let's skip going all the way and let's actually work on uh, pocket and crossword. Uh, you take that, you fold this on out, uh, which kind of folds around like this, and this piece comes out like so. And you just fold the little fist out, and you can see you do have a little bit of articulation off of this arm uh, based on how it works, but it's also certainly not helping how floppy he is. And he will be this side, and we'll take a crossword here, and we'll do the same thing, fold him on out, make sure you get past everything, fold it all the way down, fold the fist out here. There we go, just like that. And it's really cool that all the combiner parts are actually contained. And there we go. So now we'll take Tic Tac, who is uh, the hardest one to work with, I suppose, is the nice way to say it. So we take these out like so, and take this little bar out like this. Now you're gonna take this whole piece and you fold it down like this, and then this bar actually has to snap around the exhaust pipes like this. It's very strange, uh, but it makes it very secure. And then these little chrome pieces actually plug in here to offer a little bit more stability. So now, the reason that you don't find this guy uh, jigsaw with his things is because these just plug right into the top just like that. Uh, not the most secure thing in the world, certainly easily broken. Then we're going to take our uh, crossword here and you just kind of slide this into the side here and we'll take pocket and slide this here and there you go. You've got Puzzler. Let's zoom out here so we can see the whole thing. I mean he's not a bad little you know, completely contained combiner. He feels good, you know, he's got articulation on the arms. Um, more articulation than your actual Transformers combiners had. Uh, you know, with the out, in and out that are provided. He's really a good combiner. Uh, if you haven't picked up Puzzler, he's probably one of the most interesting GoBots to mess with. Uh, he's definitely more interesting than, uh, I believe it's called Monstrous. I, I have a review on him if you're interested. But uh, yeah, Puzzler is a surprisingly fun toy. If you can find him with all his pieces in really good shape, uh, he's definitely more fun than what I have here. Uh, I certainly wouldn't mind picking that up. And I really wouldn't mind seeing a third party company actually make a Puzzler. I know the uh, Toy World throttle bots are kind of close, but I'd really like to see someone give this guy a go because he's actually a very good figure. So this is T2RX6, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.